Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us. Kiara Biagini joins us now with the Los Altos water polo player, who is this week's inspirational athlete. Robert, the Los Altos Eagles water polo team finished its regular season at 22 and 2. Tonight, we meet the Eagles starting goalie and learn how he is overcoming a recent diagnosis of epilepsy. Meet the reigning Santa Clara Valley De Anza Division champs. The Los Altos Eagles finished league at 12 and 0 and are ready for playoffs with sophomore Aiden Mitchell protecting the net. This is Aiden's first year on varsity and first year playing with junior myoclonic epilepsy. It started about maybe like five years ago where I would go up in Tahoe and I'd have like these jerks up in Tahoe. They'd be like jerks like my hand would jerk or I'd fall over. They wouldn't happen very often though and then in about in freshman year of high school they started happening very often. During this past summer the mild jerks became more extreme where it would cause Aiden to collapse. Aiden went to his pediatrician and even saw a nutritionist looking for answers, but nothing was found. On Mother's Day morning, um, he woke up and he, at about 6 o'clock in the morning, and was complaining to uh, his mother and myself and saying, you know, I'm having the twitches, but they're not stopping, they're not stopping. Because my dog woke me up at 5 o'clock, and I tried to go back to sleep, but I couldn't, because I, and I like kept shaking, I like my hand, legs were shaking, my hands were shaking. And so we went in and just kind of tried to settle and calm him down and see if they subside. And so we thought he went back to sleep and, and I just had this weird feeling that things weren't quite right. Aiden went into full unconscious tonic colonic seizure. So he was fully rigid, you know, you know jerking tremendously. Uh, fortunately, he was in his bed, so it wasn't a situation where he was gonna hurt himself. Um, but, you know, uh, froth kind of coming at his lips, so it was obviously very terrifying. The paramedics came and Aiden was rushed to the hospital. A few hours later, the diagnosis, junior myoclonic epilepsy, a common form of epilepsy found in teens causing brief shock-like muscle jerks. Luckily for Aiden, the disorder is highly treatable with medication. I gotta take medication at night. I have to get good rest and that's about it. It could be worse. It could be like a much worse form. At least there's like medication that you can take that has no side effects. Aiden is optimistic about his diagnosis and believes epilepsy doesn't have a big effect on his life. But the rigorous schedule of a student athlete can never guarantee a good night's sleep. And even with medication, there's always a risk of having a seizure. Like I do open water swimming a lot, but I can't do that anymore because if I have like a seizure in the water, it's, it's very dangerous. Since water polo is highly supervised, Aiden is able to play as long as he takes his medicine and gets good rest. In the rare case of a seizure happening in the pool, Aiden's coaches and teammates are prepared to help. So it has not yet interfered with this performance. Obviously, we don't know when an episode can occur. So just making sure that everyone's ready in case it does happen. I have spoken with the other goalkeepers to make sure that he's not alone in any of his drills and someone's always watching him. Aiden has quickly learned how to manage his disorder. He hasn't skipped a beat this season and is one of the top players for one of the best water polo teams in the Bay Area. As long as it didn't interfere with his passion, uh, you know, that's all we could really hope for. And we're really uh, excited for his future and really, really happy to have passed this chapter in his life where we had this uncertainty and now we know what it is and now we have a way of dealing with it. Aiden will have junior myoclonic epilepsy for the rest of his life, but he is grateful the disorder isn't keeping him from doing what he loves. The Eagles lost in the CCS Open Division playoffs, but still a great season. And Aiden didn't miss any games or practices, and he's on top of his medicine and doing great. Yeah, it's an amazing thing that, uh, you know, you have epilepsy. It's very scary, but very treatable. Yeah, he's doing awesome. All right, thanks, Kim.